Hi everyone, welcome to Unscripted Coding. Um, I'm just going to jump straight into it this time around. I'm very excited to try out question answering from Microsoft Azure. So uh, in a previous video, we looked at Azure Cognitive Service and what we looked at specifically was summarizing text. Um, but the end goal for me is being able to ask questions about that text. Uh, it's a really challenging problem to have if you are trying to build your own AI, but uh, seemingly Microsoft has decided to package this up and, and make it available through an API or through their SDK. So today we're just gonna click Python in their quick start and they actually have two different options. I'm gonna test one of them just to see how well it works and how it works. Now, if you weren't here for that previous video, um, do go back, I've set it up, I've set up Azure Cognitive Service on my portal and then uh, I kind of set up the key. So uh, those are probably your first steps, and I suspect all we're going to do is basically copy and uh, copy and paste afterwards. But first, let's look at the two different options: uh, querying a knowledge base and querying te querying text without a knowledge base. Uh, the first one's very much geared towards corporate chatbots. If um, you have seen uh, support web pages where they pop up a chatbot. I think this is very much where it comes into play. You throw in your quick start guide, you throw in your manual and your blog posts and all of that so that when an end user, when a customer asks a question of when are your support hours or how do I start an account or create an account, um, it will look at that knowledge base. Now that's, that's useful for certain cases, but what I really want to do is just throw a piece of text in here and figure out what it can do uh, and, and basically ask a question. So I'm going to copy and paste it right back into the file we had previously. Okay. So if you remember before, we had uh, a secrets file which had all our keys, but we were looking at text analytics. Over here, we're gonna skip. We don't really need this, I don't think. Um, credentials, that's gonna be required. I'm not sure what, what the issue is here. Um, Oh, I don't think I have it installed. So let's go back first and see if I have to pip install anything. Yes. So you can see question and uh, question answering is its own thing. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to pip install. And once that happens, these two should clear up. Uh, we have endpoint and credential, and this is what I think I had in my in my um, uh, secrets import. So there's key and endpoint. Um, I'm not gonna need. Let me just remember here. So I'm not gonna need the endpoint, and credential is going to be key right here. So we can skip this and we're going to call this function Q&A. You're going to start the client with the endpoint and credential. You're going to ask a question. You're going to have a text document right here. Um, this time around, I am going to copy this massive article about the iPhone. You can see that it's supposed to facilitate multiple documents. I don't care too much about that. We have a question up here. What else do we have? We get an output. 
it looks like there's going to be multiple answers and we're going to pick the best answer and we're going to print this out. So we're going to print out the question, we're going to print out the answer and the confidence score. So we have a long essay about the iPhone. We are going to ask who made, who, uh, no, let's say when did the iPhone first, uh, when was the first iPhone released? I think that's a fair question to run. Uh, we're not going to run this one, uh, but we will run. This giant block of text is going to cause problems. The Q&A right here. So let's see how that goes. <clears throat> okay, so function object has no attribute answers from text options. Input. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I picked a bad one. Question and you know what, let's, let's just call it quest. I think I picked a bad name, Q&A clashed with my function. So we're gonna rerun this, see where we go. Here we go. So they have a confidence score of 97%. Uh, percent. That's pretty good. Um, when was the first iPhone release? Jobs unveiled the first generation of iPhone to a public on January 9th, 2007 at Macworld, blah, blah, blah. Uh, goes into probably more detail than I need, but it does answer the question. It does go straight to, um, straight to the end here. Uh, let's, let's pick one. All models featured the Smart HDR computational photography system and a significantly more powerful neural engine. Um, okay, let's go. Which iPhone came with a 6.5 inch screen? Uh, sorry, this is from my sampling or my summarizing. So we're gonna come here. Uh, which iPhone first included a 6.5, let's use it like this, inch screen. Uh, so we're going to use this inch, just slightly different. We're going to use include instead of featured, just to throw a bit of diversity in there and see, because you don't always ask the question exactly how it's written. So we're going to start debugging. Try this one more time. Uh, so it looks like we got no answers that are above 0 0.9. So I'm going to lower this threshold drastically just to see 0 0.3. Ah, you can see it's very not confident, 37%. So it didn't understand this inch notation. Uh, I'm gonna go inch and see if, oh, uh, and question mark, to see if that fares a bit better. 58%. Um, iPhone 14 Plus introduced a large 6.5 inch or 6.7 inch screen. Yeah, so it's not it's not perfect. Actually, quite far. This is a pretty simple question in theory. Let's pick up. Let's do one more fun one before we stop. Uh, what is Jobs? first name. Ah. Okay, and run this. Yeah, 
it, nothing even comes to 0 0.3 confidence. So let's run this one more time. We're just not even really putting a barrier anymore. 16%. Steve Jobs Theater. Yeah, doesn't really answer much. How many cores does the A11 have? One last one. I'm I'm enjoying this too much. Um, how many cores does the have? Hexacore, so it should be eight. Sixty-one percent. A hexacore A11 bionic chip, so it's picking the right one. And I'm noticing it's not really answering the question. It's just going straight to the most relevant section. It's just telling you where to find the answer. So um, again, I, I talk about myself a little bit in these videos. I am very interested in seeing when this is good enough so that I can throw contracts in here and ask about specific questions. You know, when is the start date? When is the end date? Where is the jurisdiction? And I know there are uh, lots of AI tools that are already geared to that, but what if I ask more specific questions? Um, and in short, this is far from good enough. This is a Wikipedia article answer uh, text, and even then it's having trouble picking out the answers. So. Not great, but this was really quick to build and fun to play around with. So hopefully Azure and Microsoft makes this better and better over time um, so that I can build on top of it. Anyways, we're going to keep playing with the, uh, these AI tools in the coming weeks and months. I think there's a lot to do just running through uh, Azure moving forward. So uh, look forward to more of these videos and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.